Hello everyone, my name is Jason Cyrus. I'm a motivational hypnotist, a naturopath, and self-empowerment expert. To learn all my life-changing tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Wednesday. Now, as a lot of you know, my livelihood came from performing in theaters and casinos, speaking and performing for corporate events and private functions. COVID has basically killed my career. Now, I live in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, and we were doing so well at flattening the curve. And recently, there has been an outbreak in our city which caused us to go back to an orange level. And just when I thought I could see a light at the end of the tunnel, I started to see darkness again. I watch my friends and family posting videos and pictures on social media with tears coming down their face. Casinos and amusement centers, large live performance venues, gyms and hair salons, spas, small businesses closing again, and these incredible people wondering how they were going to feed their families. This, this feeling of Anger and stress and anxiety and disappointment came over me. So I immediately did some tapping, 7-Eleven breathing. I shook my body around to get rid of that negativity and I changed my state. And I quickly realized that whether we like it or not, adversity is a part of life. And overcoming adversity is one of the biggest hurdles we can face. And regardless of how sharp or clever or happy-go-lucky we are, we will encounter struggle, challenges, difficulties, and at times heart-wrenching moments. And learning to deal with and overcoming adversity is what builds character and resilience. Every challenge and every difficulty we successfully confront in life serves to strengthen our will and our confidence and ability to conquer future obstacles. And although we are different people and have different challenges, I believe these four steps are key to overcoming any situation that we might face. So believe you can handle and overcome any challenge. You must believe that the situation that you're going through is for a purpose. And God, the universe, or some greater power has given you the power to overcome it. It is important to remember that everything that has happened in your life, the good, the bad, the ugly, are all shaping you into the person you were born to be. Adversity comes to bring out the best in us, and we must begin to realize that. Failure and obstacles, adversity, are all the ingredients to success. They give you life lessons that no lecture in the world can offer. They bring experience, and with experience comes progress. So learn to trust in you when obstacles come your way. And the first thing you do is to believe, I can do it, I can overcome it. Begin to say these affirmations to yourself and gradually your situation will obey the confessions. Second thing is dare to think positive. I know, this is something people find hard to do when they're facing adversity. It's human nature to overreact and to worry and complain, but that doesn't do anything. Instead, it causes heartaches and panic, panic attacks. So think to yourself, when last did worrying ever solve a problem? Never has and it never will. It's your responsibility to face every adversity with the right mindset and the right attitude. Positivity will always overcome any negative situation. Your thoughts are everything. And if you think good, you're going to attract good. And it's important to note that consciously and unconsciously, we are constantly invoking the law of attraction. So when you face adversity... Discipline yourself to see the best in it. Though it may not seem so, but gradually your positive thinking will turn your situation around 
for your good. Third thing is surround yourself with warriors, not worriers. This is an important thing to consider when facing adversity. Usually, the first thing that we do when a situation happens is call someone in panic. But if that person happens to be a worrier, he or she will only dilute your faith and will cause more pain to the situation. Move with the right kind of people. People of your caliber. Make it your priority to, by surrounding yourself with the right company and very soon, their words will influence your situation in a positive way. And the fourth thing is, let adversity be your teacher. Many times when we experience hardships, we take it as misfortune, misfortunes that have come to mess up our lives and possibly destroy the future that we have in store for ourselves. But what we don't realize is that they come to help us and teach us lessons. They shape you into the person you will be in five and ten years from now. So when you face adversity, take it as lessons for a brighter tomorrow. And I'll leave you with a quote by one of my favorites, Jack Canfield, which summarizes all this. Change your negative thoughts to positive ones. Change what you daydream about. Change your habits. Change what you read. Change your friends and change how you talk about yourself and others. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Facebook fan page, Twitter, Instagram. Everything's under hypnotist Jason Cyrus. And what are the ways that you deal with adversity? And what was your favorite tip? Leave your comments below and please share with your friends and your family. Thanks for watching and know that we will get through this. This too shall pass. Mad love to you all.